I'm going to say there are two things. One is that there are five habits that we want to adopt in order to be an outthinker, to outthink the competition. And then there's a new playbook that we want to embrace. And at the end of this, when we go to the new playbook, I'm going to invite you to do some brainstorming about your business and how you can disrupt your competitors by using this new playbook. Okay. So first, five habits. If we look at these outthinkers, how do they adopt a new paradigm? They do five things. The first is what I call mental time travel. The ability to transport ourselves into the future, visualize a future that's different than today, paint out all the details, and start planning for that different future. Some people are good at that, some people are are, aren't so good at that. I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about each of these in a little more detail. Second, attacking the interconnected system. They look at the system rather than the elements of the system, and by looking at the interconnections between the system, they see a point of leverage that others don't see. And again, I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a moment. Frame shifting, they shift their perspectives on the problem many times, and that allows them to see more possible options that others see. The fourth is a disruptive mindset. That of those ideas, they pick the ideas not only that customers are going to love, that our clients are going to love, but those ideas that also the competition will not be able to copy for a long time. Finally, perception shaping. These four give you that great disruptive idea and then becomes the challenge of shaping other people's perspectives so they see your idea as a great idea. You know, they say Steve Jobs had a reality distortion field around him. That's something that we see in many of these innovative outthinkers, that they're able to shape people's perspectives to have them see the idea as a great idea.